with amazing height, 605. How do you feel? I'm trying to gather some words to describe it, but I don't think there's any words in any language that can kind of describe how I'm feeling right now. I mean, it's a dream come true. I'm on top of the world, and, you know, it's, uh, I'm just so happy right now. You had uh, almost all the jumps were in the first attempt. I think only one attempt was uh, that you had to do for a second attempt, right? Yeah, uh, I, I, I missed 580 first attempt, and after that I had to make first attempt just to uh, be able to stay in the lead or take the lead because, you know, at six meters after I made it, Timor made it and we were tied for first. So I had to make 605 just to be able to be the sole winner of the competition, which is crazy to me. And, you know, at the time I wasn't thinking about it like it was 605. I was just thinking about it like this is five centimeters higher than what I just made. And so I have to make it if I want to win and I want to be the only one on that podium at the top. So I just did what I had to do. I think that that must have been the hardest part because Jumping the six meters, it's you already are now the first teenager that jumped six meters, and then realizing that you still had the competition to go higher. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it should be tough to do that, but at the time it felt like I just had to make the next bar to be able to stay in the competition and be able to win it. Well, I, could, I can't understand why you didn't jump anymore after the 605 and you won it, but uh, do, was there an option that you would continue or you were right away, no, 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 this is enough? I was really tired, and I'm really tired right now. So uh, I thought about it maybe for a second, but I had to see, I was focused on if they made it, we'd have to go to 610. <laughs> but, um, you know, I... I I don't know what to say really, but no, I don't, I was really tired. I was really tired and I know that I think going to higher would have been a mistake because I, I, don't, I don't think it would have worked out well. Your PB was 593 coming in this competition. Did you have to change poles because jumping six meters and six or five? Yeah, I was on uh, the biggest poles I've ever been on. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's, I guess it's just Berlin. And, and your dad, how emotional is it to see your dad and what advice did he give you? Uh, advice? I don't, I don't, I don't, it wasn't much advice, it was just kind of just hugging and loving each other and, and I think I, I, I really got emotional when I, I hugged my mom because, you know, she was there with me every day this year. She wrote all my workouts and she trained me every day this entire year and you know this was not my 605 this was me and all of my family 605 and all the friends that have supported me to this point but I think just to be able to share it with my mom and dad here tonight was just it's just it, I couldn't have it written it up any better than this last question what did Renéo tell you Renéo I, we've said so many things, I don't even know what to tell you, but he texted me before the meet and he said, it doesn't matter what place it is, I want me and you to be on the podium. And to be able to now have that picture of me and him on the podium tonight, it's going to, I'm going to have to go to whatever shop can give me, put that picture in a frame, and I'm going to get it as big as I possibly can, and I'm going to hang it up right in my room.